Why worry about climate change when the earth is a pointless ball of shit? <laughs> People say, don't they, say the best thing you can do for the planet is to become a vegan. Veganism? I don't think so. I think the best thing you can do for the planet is cannibalism. <laughs> if you eat one other person, you've reduced your carbon footprint by 100%. <laughs> If you really want to make a difference, eat a pilot. <laughs> Joining us to discuss climate change, please welcome journalist George Monbiot. George, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Frankie. I've been reading your stuff for a long time. Do you think we've uh, broken the planet then? Well, we're pretty screwed, yeah. But look, there's an interesting answer to the conundrum that you start with, because full-on climate breakdown, collapse of complex society, which, you know, it's not inconceivable already. Um, most of us will be dinging it out in the chemical desert um, until we've eaten almost everyone, right? But a small proportion of society will be able to buy places in their security condos in Kansas. You know, they're already selling these things for millions of pounds, where you can basically sit it out until everyone else has killed each other. One man is offering millionaire preppers a high-tech way to avoid the apocalypse. Welcome to the survival condo. The survival condo is spread across 15 floors and goes 200 feet underground. At the top, under the dome, are the recreation facilities like pet park and climbing wall. Underneath that are the mechanical level, medical bay and food stores with luxury living quarters spread across the next seven floors. At the bottom, further four floors house a classroom, a library, a bar, a gym and cinema then you can emerge and repopulate the Earth, right? Now, let's just think about who the people are who are going to be able to afford these security condos, right? Donald Trump Jr., James Murdoch, Mel Gibson, Kanye West. You say the planet's full of shit already. <laughs> and So, the incentive to prevent this from happening is obvious. <laughs> also, the incentive to go there with the shotgun while they try and get into their condos is <laughs> pretty high. Well, they'll have security guards, but already, and I'm not kidding here, they, they are starting to think along these lines. They're saying, and they're, they're getting consultants in to advise them on this. How do we pay our security guards when money becomes worthless? They're not asking, how do we prevent the collapse of life on Earth? They're asking, what are the technical measures we need to apply to make sure that we survive and everybody else dies? Well, I've always wondered that. How come on day two after the apocalypse, like the world isn't just ruled by bodyguards, essentially, and mm. the currency probably dry hand jobs? security got Endless seas of people out the windows right now. This is so funny. 